Um, he's obviously a quality player, and I think, I don't know, sometimes, sometimes you just have a little bit of luck, and um, in, in 2020 especially, I, I don't necessarily read too much into that. Um, he's obviously trying to put pressure on me as a bowler, and I'm trying to defend and not go for too many runs. So sometimes that happens, and um, you, you're very happy when it does happen, because he's obviously a, a very senior batsman in, in the Pakistan side. So whenever, whenever I can get a, a quality player like Babur Azam out, I'm very happy, but I don't think we should read too much into that. Yeah, we've obviously been very lucky to play a lot of cricket here in Pakistan and, and learn from those games. I think um, any time you can play in conditions that um, are, are part of an ICC event is exciting. So obviously we've got a core group of players here that um, have played a lot of cricket here in Pakistan now. And that, that knowledge will be huge going, uh, for us going forward into that uh, Champions Trophy next year. And whoever comes, that, that knowledge will be shared with them. And, um, it's also nice to have some have some good results here in Pakistan against a team that are very comfortable playing in these conditions as well. A chance to to put your name forward as a contender for that World Cup. So, yeah, I'm I'm not sure what the team will be for the World Cup, but um, if you're if you're putting good performances together, they will get recognised. Um, we saw that a little bit in this series last year, where guys who, who stood up in the series against Pakistan last year got picked in the One Day World Cup. So I guess you can only go off the history of, of those sorts of things. And the guys here, are, are, it's, it's pretty obvious this is the last series before that World Cup gets named. So yeah, um, every, time you, every time you play for New Zealand, you want to put your best foot forward. And the playing group here have the best opportunity to do that. Yeah, I think um, we sort of proved to ourselves and I guess everyone around that uh, we can we can compete with these guys. Um, obviously, the first game was a little bit disappointing, and we were able to learn from that game and, and take those learnings forward into the second game. So, yeah, we're we're under no illusions that um, these next two games are going to be easy. It's it's going to be a really really tough fought series throughout, but. As long as, as we keep focusing as a team on, on making those little adjustments game to game and, and trying to figure out little ways. It's a, it's a four match series now with the rain obviously so we have to make sure that we keep learning and, and not resting on our laurels of winning that last game. Yeah, I think, um, it was, we, I think we put Pakistan under pressure at times and, um, and we took the learnings from the first game. I think the, Adjusting to the different wickets here is, is super important, and I think we we learned as a batting unit um, how to how to put pressure back on the Pakistan bowlers, which we didn't do in the first game. But obviously, Mark Chapman had a had an amazing innings, and he's he's performed very well here um, in the times that he has played. So, yeah, we we're obviously very thankful for the innings that he played, and and hoping that he can play some more like that.